Hi everyone, Olishino here again and welcome back to the channel where we do everything music from music reviews to album reviews, playlist updates and all of that. You know, just everything about music generally, Afrobeats especially. So if you're up for that kind of content, please make sure you subscribe, support the channel and turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I put up new videos as well. So this video is based on or inspired by a tweet I saw when someone, where someone was, you know, commenting about Brian Moe's latest album, The Yellow Album, and check out my review of that album up here in the cards as well. And the tweet goes like this, it says, Brian Moe's music is for people with a certain IQ level and above. His music is like B and O speakers, it is not for everybody. So the purpose of this video is to try and answer a simple question, what is good music? Now, I know this is somewhat a controversial discussion. This is something that I think is very subjective as well. We have this attitude of labeling some music or some artists as good musicians and others as bad musicians. And you know, those who sing a particular kind of music as those who don't sing good music. I think it's just to try and clarify a few things and give you my own definition of what I think good music is. You think they they wise? Before we go ahead, I think it's why we try to define the term music first. Just a few definitions I have in front of me here. Wikipedia defines music as an art form and cultural activity whose medium is sound. And I want us to take note of some keywords, you know, in all of these definitions. First is sound, the other is art, emotion, and beauty. Those four words, you see them recall in all, almost all of the definitions of music. Now, if you go to the Oxford advanced learners dictionary it says the first definition of music says it's a vocal or instrument sound or both combined in such a way as to produce beauty of form harmony and expression of emotion now this is the merriam webster dictionary it defines music as the science or heart of ordering tones or sound in succession in combination and in temporary relationships to produce a composition having unity and continuity. The Encyclopedia Britannica defines music as muse as an art concerned with combining vocal or instrumental sounds, again sounds for beauty of form or emotional expression, usually according to cultural standards of rhythm, melody, and in most Western music, harmony. I think I'll round up with Wikipedia definition of music. It says here on the first line that defining music turns out to be more difficult than might be first imagined, and there is ongoing debate. And then where they try to define music, you know, lower down in the page, it says on the second paragraph that the 15th edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica state that why there are no sounds that can be described as inherently unmusical, musicians in each culture have tended to restrict the range of sounds they will admit. That will lead us to the next part of the video. Now, if there is no generally acceptable definition for music, by inference, there is no generally acceptable definition of good music or bad music. Now, what do I then think is good music? What do I think is bad music? Or at least there must be there must be a yardstick. There must be a line to separate, you know, those two entities, good and bad music. There must be probably no matter how thin the line is, there must be a demarcation. They say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So, music just like you know, just like everything that is meant to be beautiful, is in the ears of whoever is hearing it. What is beauty to you might mean ugly to someone else. Music is meant to elicit an emotional response it's meant to evoke you know an emotion or if it doesn't do that it's supposed to match your emotions at that at some particular points people try to claim because they listen to some particular type of music they understand music and those who don't listen to those particular type of music do not understand music or they don't know what they are listening to music is subjective music is emotional music is beauty music is art art is first for the creator and then for those who are going to consume it, it's meant to put you in an emotional state, whether happy, sad, sober, angry, heartbroken, you know, celebrating. There's a music for each emotional state. So it is not right to tell people they don't understand music or they don't know what music is because they don't listen to some particular type of music or because they like a particular artist. So this is one quote by Jojo. Right, so let's take this argument further now and I'll try and list about 10 artists. Now the first is Miles Davis, Terry G, Kate Tempest, Naira Mali, Adele, Luciano Pavarotti, FM Lady, 
William McDowell, Obese Radio Gungu himself, and Liv Volbeck. I know you can argue that some people on this list make good music while others don't, and that is the essence of this discussion. Music is subjective. Someone else will take this list and you know flip it over or you know and flip your opinion over and tell you you are totally wrong because he doesn't even understand what this other person is saying. Because that song just doesn't just match his emotions at that point, or that song does not elicit the right emotions that person wants at that point. For some people, it's going to be normally that will elicit that. For some people, it's going to be K Tempest. For some, it will be Obesity, and for some, it will be Ijala or Queen Yawo. Just to cap it up, music is subjective. It's about what you want to listen to, it's about the sound that excites your ears, just like food as well. Music is like food, music is like heart. So next time someone tells you you don't understand good music because, because you don't listen to a particular th- type of music, tell them you'll be Mumu. So I'll try to end up this video with a response to that tweet as well and the person said Brimo is super talented but how is Brimo's music for people with a certain IQ level and above? Does this think in polynomials, trigonometric functions or ordinary differential equations? Do you know you can be prosecuted for that? Piano naked on that bridge and give his album titles like Victoria. So let's get the conversation started. Let me know what I have thought about good and bad music in the comment section below. And if you like what I've done in this video, please smash that like icon. And if you are not yet subscribed or you are new to this channel, please make sure you tap on that subscribe icon. I turn on notifications so you get updated and notified whenever I put up new videos. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Relational Signing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.